Hello, it's Dr. Baines. I wanted to talk a little bit about how we are different from other TRT clinics. It's a question we get asked a lot um, and people want to understand it a little bit more. Uh, we have been around for over 10 years. We've been doing this extremely comprehensively for a really long time. And our approach is quite different from other clinics in the sense that we also look at other parameters. Uh, our doctors are functionally trained. And what that means is that they do look at root cause management. So if you come in not uh, in your head for a TRT problem, but we find that that's not really the issue, we would be looking at other causes and other uh, contributing factors like your thyroid, estrogen levels, stress levels, uh, your cortisol impacts really uh, impacts directly on your sex hormones. So these are all some of the other factors that we also look at. Another thing that we do is that we know, uh, we don't just normalize, we optimize. So your normal is going to be different from another person's normal. And we're not just going to look at numbers. We will look at you as a person. And um, if you are one of those where you're already on a regime, but things just don't feel quite right, our doctors also have the expertise to do a deep dive and try to figure out why there's so many options out there. Uh, most of the current existing online tests that you get uh, measure free testosterone and people get quite confused as to um, it, it feels enough. It feels like it's what you, are, what you need. Um, within the NHS, they tend, to men uh, they tend to measure total testosterone and if you were to do these online tests, it's free testosterone. What they don't tell you is that it is actually free calculated testosterone and not free measured testosterone. Now, these are two quite different things. Uh, when you calculate something, you, you calculate it from two other numbers. And in this case, it is your SHBG and the total testosterone. You, if you have those two numbers, you can... You, you can get a guess about what the free calculated testosterone is. At our clinic, we do only measured because it makes much more sense. You're actually seeing what the actual uh, bioavailable, what the testosterone that's actually available to the cells are. And this gives you a much more accurate picture of what's available in the person's body. So you could have a total testosterone that is very high, but a free measured that is quite low. And in which case you would be the right candidate for testosterone replacement therapy. However, for someone with very high total testosterone, but not enough is getting into the cells, if you were to do a calculation and not a measurement, you would probably get a result um, which puts you in normal when really that isn't the case. And so it's quite a big difference. The calculated testosterone is quite an expensive, um, the measured, sorry, is quite an expensive test and has to be outsourced because it's a specialist test. Whereas with the calculated, um, it's cheap. You're using two numbers, it's pure math.